featured speaker, Mr. John Crestani. Or what? That's what he said to me. Or what? So here I am, a up and coming young whippersnapper in a Los Angeles ad agency. And my boss was basically Harvey Weinstein, but fatter, sweatier, and greedier. And I'm preparing to uh, have a meeting with him. Now, the main client I was working on, their name was Greenlight Financial. And they were spending 80,000 a month on online ads. And I got them up to spending two and a half mil or over two and a half million dollars a month. And the only reason they weren't spending more was because they physically didn't have the staff to handle all the new business. And the uh, agency I worked for was making an additional $250,000 a month in profits uh, based on uh, the work I did. So I felt naturally that you know I should have deserved a little more, maybe an incentive plan, a raise, a promotion, something. Now, I rehearsed this meeting with my father, who is a talent agent uh, at a, uh, in Los Angeles, and we did some role playing. You know, we went back and forth, covered, you know, different questions that may come up, different objections. And, you know, I walked in my boss's office to the meeting. He was sitting across the desk in his chair, and I sat down. And, you know, I gave him my spiel. I said, look, you know, I've been doing a good job. I'm making the firm an extra quarter million dollars uh, in profits a month. And I'd like to discuss getting some sort of incentive plan, raise, promotion, something. And I was silent. And he sat there, unbroken eye contact, non-blinking. And he leaned back a little bit and said, or what? Those two words shook me to my core. I was raised to be a good employee. My dream was to climb the corporate ladder. I was raised to be loyal, hardworking, and results-driven. And here I am staring at, or what? And the one question I had no, no idea what to do. So I went home and I kind of did a post-mortem of the situation, of the meeting earlier. And I thought to myself, you know, what would I have said? You know, what should I have done? You know, there are only two possible responses to that question, which is either I quit or I'm open to being poached. Now, months earlier, I had uh, the CMO, the chief marketing officer of Greenlight, had taken me out to drinks, and he offered me a job, a uh, staff expense account, and uh, you know, a significantly higher salary. And relying on my grandfather's wisdom, you know, which is you leave with who took you to the dance, you know, I politely said, no, thank you. Another company had tried to uh, poach me as well, same situation, but also they offered me, you know, stock options in the company as well as a, uh, a one of those new Teslas, you know, if I said yes on the spot. To a 24-year-old kid, that's a pretty appealing offer. But I, once again, relied on my grandfather's wisdom and politely said, no, thank you. Now, in retrospect, my boss, the smart thing for him to do, he should have given me something. He had given me an extra $2,000 a month I would have been perfectly happy and I would have, you know, still been probably in my suit and my pants working my ad agency job, been climbing the corporate ladder. And I don't know if you've ever felt this way before, but where you have a dream, yet you can't seem to get there no matter what you do. You feel trapped, boxed in. That's how I felt. And sitting in my apartment that night, I had a realization that the corporate ladder, corporate life, being an employee, wasn't for me. And I had to become an entrepreneur. Amongst other things, I've taught over 20,000 people how to kick the corporate ladder, work for themselves, be entrepreneurs, basically running their own ad agencies on Google, Facebook, YouTube. And ironically, I owe it all to the Harvey Weinstein doppelganger because he opened my eyes and made me see the corporate dream, the American dream, 
is a myth? Or what? Or what? Or else I'll do it myself. And you can too. Yeah! John Crestati! Yeah! All right! Fantastic! It's worth it to buy John's program because you can double, triple, even quadruple your money in a very short amount of time. I didn't really believe it at first, but then I did more research and did it myself and you know, it worked. Uh, I've been with John's program for a few years now. Uh, I remember when I first started out, uh, making my first like $100 was a big deal. Uh, but, you know, I've stuck with John's program and, you know, changed my life completely. Uh, able to, you know, afford a mortgage uh, and just live the lifestyle that I want right here in Vegas.